welcome to my channel all about biology and this is Jyoti Verma. Today we will discuss about astivation that is very important topic for your theory as well as for your practical exams. So, astivation simply means the arrangement of sepals as well as petals within a floral whorl in a floral bud. So, it is the arrangement of sepals and petals. So, there are different types of arrangements of the sepals as well as of the petals. So, one thing you have to keep in mind when you draw floral diagram, you will draw sepal like this and you will draw petal like this. Okay, now coming to the types of astivation. Our first astivation is volvate astivation. In the case of volvate astivation, there is no overlapping of the margins as in this diagram you can see that it is a petal that is showing volvate astivation and in this case the margins are not overlapping in any case so this type of astivation is called as the volvate astivation in which the margins are not overlapping this type of astivation is seen in brassica compestris which is your sarso Coming to our next type that is twisted astivation. In the case of twisted astivation what will happen the margins of the petal are in and out situation. So what is happening here this petal is having its margin inside and other one towards the outer side. In the same way this petal is also having its one edge or one margin towards the outer side as well as its other end towards the inner side. In the same way this petal is also showing the same condition. So this type of situation or astivation is called as the twisted astivation in which the margin or edges of the petals are in and out alternately. This type of situation is seen in hibiscus. We have done that in our video. You can see from the playlist section our hibiscus video and we have also seen twisted astivation in the case of Thevesia. We have also shown that video. Now coming to our next astivation that is your imbricate astivation. In the case of imbricate astivation what is happening here one petal is completely in one petal is completely out and the three petals are showing in and out situations. So let's look at the diagram. This petal is showing a completely out situation. Its margins are completely out. Coming to next, this petal is completely in. However, rest of the three petals, this petal is half inside and half towards the outer side. Similarly, this petal is half towards the outer side and half towards the inner side. So its margin is showing different patterns. So in the case of imbricate astivation, you can see this type of situation in which one petal will be completely in, one petal will be completely out and the rest three of the petals will show you in and out situation alternately. So this type of astivation can be seen in Casia. Coming to our next astivation that is your quinquential astivation and in this situation what will happen two petals will be completely in, two petals will be completely out and the single petal that is left will show you in and out situation. So here what is happening this petal and this petal is completely towards the outer side this petal and this petal is completely towards the inner side its margins are towards the inner side however this petal that is left over is showing you in and out situation one of its margin is towards the outer side and one of its margin is towards the inner side so that is your quinquential astivation in which two petals are completely towards the outer side two petals are completely towards the inner side and remaining one petal will show you out and in situation. So this type of astivation we have seen in the case of Thevesia Peruviana. We have done it in our Thevesia Peruviana video. If you have not seen it yet, you can see it from the playlist section. Coming to our next type of astivation that is vexillary type of astivation. In this type of astivation, the petal is showing a different pattern you will be able to see a larger petal that is called as a standard 
two lateral petals which are called as the wing and the two smaller fused petals which are called as the keel. This type of astivation we call it as vexillary astivation and this type of astivation is characteristic feature of the family Papillionaceae. You will be able to see it in P which is an example of the vexillary astivation. So all these are the different types of astivation. You have to know it about the astivation types because when you study about the taxonomic families then these terms will be there. So you have to know about these terms. So in the case of volvate astivation, there is no overlapping of margins. In the case of twisted astivation, what will happen? One margin will be in, other margin will be out. In the same way, one margin will be in, other margin will be out in the case of twisted astivation. In the case of imbricate astivation, one petal or one sepal will be completely towards the outer side. The other one will be completely towards the inner side and the remaining three will show you in and out situations. In the case of quincuntial astivation, two petals will be completely towards the outer side. Two petals will be completely towards the inner side and the single left petal will show you in and out situation if we talk about the petals. In the case of vexillary astivation, you will be able to see a large standard two lateral structures which are called as the wing and the two fused structures which are called as the keel. That is your vexillary astivation. So this is all about for today. If you like the video, just subscribe to my channel for further updates. Thank you so much.